Robust Digital Expert Enthusiasts Hey, Digital Enthusiasts! Welcome back to the Robust Digital Expert channel, your go-to digital cafeteria for developing top-notch skills. If you're hungry for career growth and ready to unlock a realm of opportunities, you're in the right place. And hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things digital. At Robust Digital Expert, we're not just experts, we're your digital companions. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refresh your digital skills, we've got a spot for you. No need to be a guru, everyone's welcome. Whether your goal is to be a business analyst, project manager, data scientist, or delve into artificial intelligence, We've curated over 130 possibilities for you. But it's not just about learning, it's about real-world application. Our live digital projects and work experiences immerse you in the challenges you'll conquer. And guess what? It's not all serious business. We've sprinkled in masterclasses on self-love, mindset mastery, and personal development because we believe a holistic approach leads to true success. Ready to embark on a brighter future? Head to our website, link in the description, for more details and secure your spot in the Virtual Mentoring Academy. Don't miss out on this life-changing experience. Join us, where digital dreams become reality. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one. The title of the playlist The Business Analyst Acronyms and Glossary The title of today's episode Cano model. The table of content. Table of contents. Definition. We start by providing a clear and concise definition of the acronym or glossary term, highlighting its significance in the field. Origin. We discuss the origin or source of the acronym or glossary term, providing relevant background information or historical context to help you understand how it emerged. Detailed explanation. Here, we offer a thorough explanation of the acronym or glossary term, breaking it down into its constituent parts and explaining the meaning behind each element. We elaborate on any specific terminology or concepts associated with the term. Relevance to the field. We explain why the acronym or glossary term is essential and relevant. We discuss how it addresses a specific need, solves a common challenge, or represents a key concept within the discipline. Usage We describe how the acronym or glossary term is used in practice. We explain the scenarios or contexts in which it is commonly employed and how it contributes to the field. Examples of application we provide two concrete examples that demonstrate the practical application of the acronym or glossary term. We explain how it is utilized in these scenarios and the benefits it brings. In summary, we summarize the acronym or glossary term, offering a brief and concise overview that allows you to understand it quickly. Definition
The Cano model is a framework used to categorize and prioritize customer preferences and requirements into five distinct categories, basic, performance, excitement, indifferent, and reverse. It helps businesses understand how different features or attributes impact customer satisfaction and prioritize them effectively. Origin Professor Noriyoki Kano developed the Kano model in the 1980s. Kano, a Japanese quality management expert, introduced this model as a way to understand and analyze customer needs and satisfaction better. The model emerged from the field of quality management and customer satisfaction, aiming to provide a more nuanced approach to feature prioritization. Detailed explanation. Basic needs. Basic needs are fundamental requirements that customers expect to be met. These are often considered hygiene factors, and their absence leads to dissatisfaction, but their presence does not significantly increase satisfaction. For example, a clean room in a hotel is a basic need. If it is not clean, customers will be unhappy, if it is clean, customers expect it but do not particularly notice or appreciate it. Performance needs. Performance needs are those that directly linearly affect customer satisfaction. The better these needs are fulfilled, the more satisfied customers will be. These needs can be quantitatively measured, such as speed or efficiency. For instance, Faster delivery times in e-commerce directly improve customer satisfaction. Excitement needs. Excitement needs are features that provide unexpected delight or excitement. Customers do not necessarily expect them, but they can significantly enhance their satisfaction when present. These features can differentiate a product or service from competitors. For example, a surprise gift with a purchase can create a positive emotional impact. Indifferent needs. Indifferent needs are features that do not influence customer satisfaction, whether they are present or absent. Customers neither like nor dislike these features, and their presence does not affect their perception of the product or service. An example could be a color option in a product that most customers do not care about. Reverse needs. Reverse needs are those that can cause dissatisfaction if they are present and satisfaction if they are absent, often due to individual preferences. For example, some customers may prefer a simple user interface, while others may appreciate complex features. Relevance to the field Prioritization of features The Cano model helps business analysts and product managers prioritize features based on their impact on customer satisfaction. By understanding which features are considered basic, performance, excitement, indifferent, or reverse, Teams can allocate resources more effectively and focus on features that will most positively impact customer experience. Enhanced customer satisfaction. By identifying and addressing different types of needs, businesses can enhance overall customer satisfaction. Meeting basic needs ensures customers are not dissatisfied, fulfilling performance needs increases satisfaction, and incorporating excitement needs can differentiate the product or service. Product Development Strategy The model guides the development and refinement of products and services by aligning features with customer expectations and preferences. This ensures that development efforts are aligned with what is most valued by customers, potentially leading to higher market success.
Usage. Product development and design. The Cano model is frequently used during the product development phase to identify and prioritize features. This helps ensure that the product meets essential requirements while also including features that delight customers. Customer Feedback Analysis The model is useful for analyzing customer feedback and identifying areas where improvements can significantly impact satisfaction. By categorizing feedback into the Cano categories, businesses can make informed decisions on which aspects to enhance or modify. Strategic Planning In strategic planning, the Cano model helps businesses understand which features or attributes will provide the greatest competitive advantage and customer satisfaction. This aids in making strategic decisions about product or service offerings. Examples of application Smartphone development. A smartphone manufacturer uses the Cano model to prioritize features for a new model. Basic needs include battery life and call quality. Performance needs include processing speed and camera quality. Excitement needs might consist of innovative features like augmented reality capabilities. By applying the Cano model, the company ensures they meet basic expectations, enhance performance aspects, and add exciting features that create differentiation in the market. Online retail experience. An online retailer applies the Cano model to improve their website. Basic needs include a functional search bar and secure checkout. Performance needs include fast load times and a user-friendly interface. Excitement needs might involve personalized recommendations and one-click purchasing options. The model helps the retailer focus on essential features while also incorporating elements that delight customers and enhance their overall shopping experience. In summary, The Cano model is a valuable tool in business analysis for categorizing and prioritizing customer preferences into basic, performance, excitement, indifferent, and reverse categories. By understanding the impact of different features on customer satisfaction, businesses can effectively prioritize product development, enhance customer satisfaction, and strategically plan their offerings. This model helps ensure that products and services meet fundamental requirements, exceed customer expectations, and deliver exceptional experiences. Make a difference by giving. Thank you for being a part of our community across the Shore Word for today, Start here with Jefferson, and Robust Digital Expert. Your support is invaluable to us. By buying us a virtual coffee, you're helping us continue to produce content that inspires, educates, and empowers, making a difference in the lives of others. Together, we can make a difference and reach even more people. Thank you for your generosity and for believing in our mission. Make a difference today by clicking the link in the description. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you for being part of our YouTube journey on the Robust Digital Expert YouTube channel. We appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe to our channel for unique educational content. You'll never miss the latest updates, new playlists, and exciting content by subscribing. Join our community of learners and professionals and gain access to a wealth of knowledge.
We value your feedback, so please comment on our videos and let us know what topics you'd like us to explore. Subscribe to the Robust Digital Expert YouTube channel and embark on an exciting journey of knowledge and exploration. Thank you, and we look forward to having you as a valuable member of our community.